Well, today we're going to do a service. I'll uh, the music down here. We're going to do a service on the belt and the rollers on a GTV 300. So what we need is a belt, a brand new belt, some rollers that you can buy from Scooter West, and these plastic clips that come with them. And I have this special tool um, to open everything up um, to allow you to torque it. Um, I know that the truest probably use an old bolt and a piece of wood or something that they made themselves, but for the price of this tool, it just works. So I bought it from Scooter West. And we're going to go ahead and do that. So I like to, uh, well, I've opened up a nice bottle of 19 Crimes which I will uh, just sip on until at least I've finished everything and torqued everything. And I'll try and guide you through it step by step on this Vespa GTV 300. So let's have a look at the bike first and we'll go over some things that have to be taken apart before we even start. Okay? Now, um, a few other things you're going to need just so you know. You need ratchets and all that kind of stuff. You need proper torque wrenches. Um, all of which I'll specify at the right time in the torques. So you can follow this video step by step and you'll see that it's really not that difficult if you just follow it step by step. So get yourself a little iPad or this is a little Windows pad and uh, you can watch this video and just keep it right next to your Vespa and follow the steps. It shouldn't be that difficult at all, I hope. We'll see at the end if it all works. So let's start by giving you an overview of the bike. So this is the Vespa that uh, we're going to be working on. And uh, what has to come off is this uh, protective chrome. And we have to take this cover off first so that we can get to this section down here. So in order to get um, the chrome off, obviously, um, we have to open the seat. There's going to be two bolts, one here, one here. Okay, we don't have to touch these two. This is for the back and the, and the uh, top box. And then once these are on done, we're going to come around onto the bottom, and you'll see that there's a bolt here. And this bolt comes, and then we should be able to pull it out and remove it. So I'm using a HW5 size bit and basically I'm undoing these two bolts here. So that releases this section here. Now we have to go on the bottom and release the bottom section. So I have a, a 10 socket and wrench and basically this will fit on here and this will hold it and we'll loosen this. There we go. And we do the same on the other side. So the last thing we have to do is remove this one screw here and then we're going to try and pull this apart on both ends and it should come off. Okay, so I pulled it off. And just so you know, in order to make this job easier the next time, or easy like it was here, is you want to lubricate the inside of this. Clean it and lubricate both sides before you put it back together again so that it will be nice and lubricated and it won't seize in there. So the next step is we have to take this side panel off. It's got clips that plug in and it's held with a screw which is a Torx 25. Here you can either use a screwdriver or a ratchet, it's a 25, not a 20 because you'll strip it, you'll start stripping the edges. And 
On the back here, there's a 10 millimeter nut that's right under, right under here. If you bend over, you'll see it and you have to undo it. Once that's undone, we can pull it apart. I'll try and show you the nut. So first, let's remove this screw here. So we'll undo this screw. Okay, and then we're going to go under here for the 10 millimeter bolt. So let's see if I can get a picture of that. That's the bolt that we want under the fender. Uh, we just want to release it. So we put it on and we release it. Now, you got to remember when you do this up, not to do it too tight because we got metal on plastic. So uh, the rest of it, I'm taking off with my finger here. Okay, so this bolt, and there's no washers, so that's loose. Now we want to be very careful when we remove this. There's these plugs that plug in so we can pull out gently, but in here there's little clips that go underneath, and if you pull it out, you will break these. In fact, I think I have one that's slightly broken from the first time I did it. So we pull it slightly like that. Gentle, very gentle. And then we wiggle the front out. You see, there's one broken on here, so I only have one left. So you gotta be very careful because they slide into these two things. So if you pull them out, they will break. So what I'm gonna do is put the bolt back on so I don't lose it or the nut and I'll screw this back into here so I don't lose the clip behind that hole. On the air box there's three screws that have to come out okay there's uh, one on the left one in the middle and one on the right they have to come out So this uses a Phillips here. go and then we have 10 8 millimeter um, to remove so it's always a good idea to take a picture of your bike to make sure that you uh, put it all back together with the hoses and the clips as they are on your bike if you're not sure um, that way you can refer to the picture um, you can look at this picture here. It should be similar, if not the same. I think mine is done correctly. Okay, uh, next we're going to remove this. I use a molding plier just to avoid scratches. And it just comes off. You can use a screwdriver, but just to be on the safe side, that's it. Okay.
Obviously, I don't have that special tool for here. I don't know why um, they didn't send it to me. They sent me the one for inside. So what I did is I put a couple of bolts in and that's enough to hold it. So you just need two thick bolts to uh, hold it in there. And after that, just take it out. And then you can undo it and we'll do the same to torque it after. So we'll take this out. And then there's a little washer and the magnetic thing works now, thank you. Now that's it, so we'll keep that over here. Okay, so in order to take this off, the last thing you have to do is remove the oil dipstick. it's in the way. Now comes the fun part. It uh, takes a little wiggling and wangling to get this off. Okay, so with this moved up, you then can lift it and wiggle it out. And it just takes the slightest little thing and there we go. Okay, and that's the inside where the belt is. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to blow all this out and clean everything. And we'll also take this filter out and clean that. And we'll clean everything in here. Clean everything in here. This looks good, but you can see all the dust from the belts that has to be removed. So we're going to blow it out and uh, at the same time clean everything. So, next step. Okay, so basically uh, you want to put the dipstick back in so the dust and the dirt and everything that we're working on doesn't uh, get into the oil. This is the bell. Um, this is how it works. Everything's moving, so that's good. So, um, you can make your own tool, or in this case I have a tool, so the way this works is very simple. Um, it's got a little spacer. So what we do is we put this in and we line it up with the hole. So in this case, we're going to line it up in this hole here. Okay. Right here. And we'll put this screw in. This will go into that hole, screw. We tighten that in, and that's going to hold this from turning. Otherwise, when we try to loosen it, it's going to want to turn. So right now it's in, I just put it hand tight. I don't think it has to be extremely tight. And then we have a... 19 millimeter and I put an extension on just to make life a bit easier and uh, so what I can do is stick this on and I'm going to loosen it and there we go there no problemo. Now I've seen on videos, you know, Mitch, California has some pretty interesting tool to hold that, but uh, this one from uh, South West works just fine. Let's undo this. And this comes off. So we'll put this tool aside to torque it at the end. And then we got to be careful of these washers. There's uh, one big one, one small one. So we'll lay it flat like that. Move this out of the way for now. And yeah, we'll take this out. At the back, and there's a few grooves in this. And then 
this whole thing comes out. And there's the belt. So we're going to want to clean all this. We're going to want to clean all this, make sure there's no dust left. There's just dust everywhere. So we're going to brush it out and get it all clean. So now we have this other washer that sits behind. And this comes out, which is where all the fancy parts are, the rollers. And again, we're going to clean all this. And the clips. Take this off. And this should slide out. And we have these quite dirty. So we'll take a break. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow all this and I'm going to clean all in between here and make it spick and span. Okay, so this piece here is supposed to fit nicely inside. It's not supposed to be stiff. It's supposed to go nicely. So um, it's important to clean everything. So what I use to clean is a, a cloth with some uh, brake cleaner on it. So I'll just uh, spray a little brake cleaner on and uh, that way I can wipe everything here. And, uh, Make sure it's all clean. And then this should just slide in nicely. Shouldn't it shouldn't have any back or forth movement. It should just slide in nice and smooth like this. If there's a lot of movement sideways, um, it's time to uh, replace it. Now I can see that I have a groove here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a high speed groove because I'm a kind of a highway guy. So I'm thinking that, you know, if I had it, I would replace it, to be honest. In fact, I may get on the phone tomorrow and see how fast they can get me one. I mean it's okay for now. Um, it's not the worst but there is a little groove there. You can see it and that's you know from holding high speeds and that's because I, I really ride in the country. I'm not in the city so I'm always you know cruising at 100 kilometers an hour which is like 55, 60, 65. So I, I'm gonna clean everything and then we'll start putting it back together. Okay, so I've cleaned it all. Combination of blowing it with uh, an air gun. Everything is being blown out. And I've also cleaned it all with a rag with a little bit of uh, brake cleaner on it. Just to get the grease off, especially in this area. And I cleaned all this. And I removed the filter and cleaned that. So I'm going to just put it back. And stick that back on, like that, and we'll put the two screws back in. <laughs> 